Do each of you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give before the court here today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. You may have heard the phrase, it takes a village. The moment the paperwork signed, they're officially your kids. <laughs> a lighthearted, more fitting description for Chris and Jessica Milam, adopting seven siblings, might be, we are becoming a village. From the moment I read their profiles, like, oh, these are the kids for us. They loved animals, they loved to craft, they loved plants. We had an empty house we, removed, we had just moved into. Um, we had built a house and to fill with kids, and um, so we knew we had the space. And we are self-employed, so it makes it a little bit easier to take care of seven kids of various ages. The two brothers and five sisters had been split up, living in three separate foster care homes for more than two years. Together again, not only do they have each other, they have a few pets. We have two snakes, snakes, one bearded dragon, dragon, four cats, cats and, and one dog. dog. Chris and Jessica had planned to become adoptive parents on a smaller scale. But from the beginning, they say they wanted these children, ages 5 to 12, to understand they would all be a family. All of them were like, can we just come home with you today? Can we just come today? And then they were it, arguing about when they would be able to get Yeah, home. they were trying to negotiate coming sooner. And <laughs> now, after eight months, it is official. Yeah, I'm going to find that it would be in these children's best interest for the adoption to take place. So I'm going to grant the adoption, grant the name change, and seal the record. Congratulations. <laughs> Um, we're going to be there forever. We're going to have a family that takes care of us until we're those that we can take care of us ourselves.